Why do I get random energy for cleaning my fridge, but I get none for adulting? Mine acts like it's saving power for the apocalypse. So we do have a brain battery. See this bullseye target here? That's your basal ganglia, the engine room of your brain's control panel. It works hand in hand with the ACG, this whole horseshoe up here. The ACG is your brain's gear shift. It decides what you're going to do next. And the basal ganglia decides how much energy you're going to give it. See this arrow inside the bullseye? That's the nucleus accumbens, your reward center and dopamine's playground. It lives inside the basal ganglia and it lights up whenever you're motivated because you're anticipating the reward. When GABA's strong, it balances the gas and brakes. But when trauma drains GABA, dopamine goes rogue, chasing comfort instead of progress. Together, they run a loop with the watchtower. The ACG shifts task, the basal ganglia adds thrust, and the watchtower monitors the energy use and signals back to the ACG to adjust. That's your executive functioning loop. Focus, act, assess, repeat. When trauma hits, the loop stalls. The basal ganglia learned to save energy when life was unpredictable. That's why survivors can hyper-focus on distraction, but freeze on daily tasks. That's not laziness. Your engine is stuck in survival mode, and it's protecting your battery's energy. Now get your screenshots ready because I'm about to give you the visual aid tool that I created for managing our executive functioning levels. As you can see, it's all about checking in and catching yourself in the act. If your control panel is humming, it's green for go. Stay with it because you're moving through the day with flow instead of friction. But if you're looping or drained or any of the other symptoms on the right, stop, take a break, shift gears and your brain's battery will thank you. Tomorrow, we'll meet the other half of the control panel, the ACG, your gear shift between thoughts and feelings.